Hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neelam with Iridescent Candle Co and I make videos on all about making and selling candles. In today's video, we will be talking about fragrance oil. Fragrance oil in candle making is a very fun topic and I'm sure that beginner candle makers out there are so excited about fragrance oils and they want to try it out, smell the different fragrances and just see how it will work in their candles. I'm basically going to walk you guys through the process of choosing fragrance oils, give you guys some tips and tricks on how to go about doing that. So please do stick around and if you are a fairly new candle maker this video will be perfect for you first off um, fragrance oil in candle making is a lot of fun choosing fragrance oils is the best part of candle making i would assume because you get to be creative you get to see the different fragrance oils out there you get to smell them you get to test them out in your candles once you see all the different fragrance oils out there it's going to be a lot to take in because there's so many out there and you don't know where to start my first tip for you guys would be Figure out what fragrance oils you want to use first. There's two fragrance oils out there on the market that you can use for candle making. Number one, you can use essential oils, pure essential oils in your candles, or you can use fragrance oil for candle making. I made a video explaining in depth what is essential oils and what is fragrance oils. So I will link that video up here. Please go watch that. When you're going about choosing your fragrance oils, please do not buy your fragrance oils from any regular store you see in the mall. Please only buy it from a candle supplier. I say this because the candle suppliers have information already there for you on their website such as how much fragrance oil you can use in your candle, what fragrance oil will work best with which wax. So please only buy from your candle supplier because they will have the proper information that you would need. When you get to your candle supplier and when you order it online, it's a lot of fragrance oils to choose from and you're not sure which one will work best in your candles. So in order to help you with that process, I would suggest that you choose only 4 or 5 cents to start off with. This might seem little, but it actually is a lot. Having a wide variety is not a good idea because you yourself is going to get overwhelmed. Reduce the fragrance oil choice and it makes it easier for the customer and you to choose which fragrance oils you would like. I highly recommend this tip is that you choose 4 or 5 scents to begin with. When I was choosing my fragrance oil, I basically chose each scent from a scent profile. I buy my fragrance oil from SA Candle Supply. They have a floral section for the fragrance oils a citrus section, a vanilla section. I'll insert a picture here of what I mean of this different scent profiles that you get. So choose four or five scents to start off with and basically learn and um, educate yourself on how to go about testing them in your fragrance oils, getting familiar with it. I would suggest that you buy sample sizes of the fragrance oils you would like to test. I say this from experience because when I was buying fragrance oils, I didn't want to necessarily waste money on small sample sizes. I thought that I would just buy all my fragrance oils in bulk without testing them, without smelling them. And I was like, please give me your best selling scents. I would like to buy them. So they gave me their best selling scents and all of them were perfect except one. <laughs> So I was stuck with a 100ml bottle of a fragrance oil scent that I didn't like. I could have just bought the sample sizes and they do get expensive if you buy sample sizes of all your scents because they're quite small so you can't do much with it. I recommend you doing that because you're not going to get stuck with a 100ml bottle of a fragrance oil that you don't like and you're never going to use again. Please buy sample sizes when you are deciding to choose fragrance oils and ask your candle supplier if they have sample sizes. Some of them do say that they have on their website and some don't. SA Candle Supply does have a sample size. I think it's 10 or 15 ml of the fragrance oil. I would also suggest that you guys don't have only one candle supplier supplying you with your fragrance oils. Have two or three candle supplies that you know stock that same fragrance oil and you can choose to buy from them if your other candle supplier has run out of that and you can use as an alternative if one of your fragrance oils from a candle supplier has been sold out. I need to implement this tip because I only buy my fragrance oils from SA Candle Supply. So now the question you guys might be asking is how much fragrance oil do I need to use in my candles? This information will be dependent on the wax you choose to make your candles with. I cannot personally tell you what fragrance load percentage will work in your candles because it's dependent on the wax and the information your candle supplier gives you about how much fragrance oil can be used in your wax. I use soy wax and this wax typically holds a 6% fragrance load to 9% fragrance load. I choose between 8% fragrance load in the middle and this works very well for my candles and this I only found out through experiment. 
so no one can tell you this this is the set fragrance load percentage you need to need you need to experiment what fragrance load works either six percent or nine percent i made a dedicated video explaining to you um candle mistakes that beginner candle makers make and i mentioned in that video the fragrance load for each wax so i will link that video up right here and you can go about watching that to figure out fragrance load percentage not necessarily 9% fragrance load will be the best for your candle. I speak from experience because when I used 9%, it was too much fragrance load for the wax to absorb and it didn't burn properly. There was no good hot throw. You need to experiment with your own wax what fragrance load will work best. Always do research and ask your candle supplier the fragrance load percentage for your own kind of wax. When measuring fragrance oil, you measure by weight. So I measure my fragrance oil in grams. I made a dedicated video telling you guys how to go about doing that and I also spoke about which scale is best to use. The tips mentioned in that video will help you in measuring out fragrance oil. I made a dedicated video explaining to you what is testing so I will link that video here again. That video is important because as a beginner candle maker there's going to be a lot of testing going on when you are just starting out. You can watch that video all about testing and it will better help you in understanding what is it that goes into candle making. I want you guys to have fun enjoy this process because i believe that this is the best part in candle making i want to end this video off here with a little mini fragrance oil uh, review and haul for you guys and just to show you the different types of fragrance oils i have in my candle line the fragrance oil i bought for my candles are from essay candle supply and they come in 100 ml bottles this is the fragrance oil i use you can see it's like empty <laughs> this is a 100 ml bottle and i told you guys in the video that i use 8% fragrance load in my candles and that basically equates to 12 grams of fragrance oil so in a 100 ml bottle I use 12 grams of fragrance oil I told you guys that um, fragrance oils are measured in weight so I measure my fragrance oil in grams just to give you guys a visual depiction there is 12 grams of fragrance oil in this candle so I used 148 grams of wax in this candle so this candle is 148 grams and in this candle there is 12 grams of fragrance oil which equates to 8% fragrance load. 8% fragrance oil in this candle works perfectly well. I can smell the fragrance oil. It burns wonderfully, gives a good hot throw. The first fragrance oil I want to show you guys is salt water and sea and I'm almost out of it as you can see. This scent is a very fresh beachy type of scent. It has notes of um, cucumber, Hello. I'm just basically smelling it and telling you guys what it smells like to me. It smells like bubble bath. So that's basically what salt water and sea smells like. And this is my best selling scent. A lot of my customers really like the scent because it smells very fresh and clean. If you like calm smelling scents and fresh smelling scents, this would be very nice to use in your candle line. When I first got the scent, this is the best selling scent that SA Candle Supply recommended to me. And it smells really good you guys like it's like bubble bath and a very clean fresh scent and it's just lovely so this is my best selling scent so if you're looking to maybe get this scent for yourself this is the one the next scent that i used in my candle line is peony rose as you can see i'm out of it and basically this is a floral woody type of scent i absolutely love floral woody notes in fragrance oils so this is like a bouquet of roses if i could tell you guys what it smells like it's also very woody so it's not like in your face some floral notes can give you a headache but this one is absolutely amazing my mom loves this um scent so if you're a floral candle lover and you like some woody notes to it this would be perfect for you the notes in this um fragrance oil is oak moss lily and peony rose so if you're looking for a floral woody fragrance oil this would be the one for you. Third um, fragrance oil that I bought but I didn't use in my candle line. I don't know why I didn't use it. I guess I forgot I had it but um, this one is a lemongrass lime and ginger scent. Um, as you can see I didn't use it but this is for my lemongrass candle lovers out there. Whoever loves lemongrass I'm sure you like the scent because it's very calming, very soothing. It smells really good. Lemony, lemongrass, um, I don't know how to explain it but if you like lemongrass it smells like a spa it literally smells like a spa to me so if you like lemongrass and lime and you want your house to smell like a spa this would be the scent for you i will try and test this out in a candle and see how it works in a candle because some fragrance oils in the bottle 
do not smell like how they would smell in a candle. The fragrance oil that I'm talking about is raspberry and vanilla. Don't get me wrong, I love the scent in a bottle. It smells like a cereal. Like amazing, it really smells like cereal. And this was the fragrance oil I told you guys in the video about I tried it, it was raspberry and vanilla. I bought a hundred more bottle. It didn't, it didn't smell good in a candle and I d personally don't like it. Just keep that in mind, some fragrance oils will not smell great in a candle. So please buy samples to test it out. I'm being honest with my opinions and with my reviews because I want you guys to make a informed decision when you're buying fragrance oils. And just basically, I'm telling you guys my experience. If you don't know already, I'm currently rebranding my candles. And basically, my candle scents will be of all about inspiring and making you believe in yourself. So I'm going to have candle names that inspire that emotion in you. Before Peony Rose, I named it Pretty in Pink. So, but my rebrand will be maybe one of these names here. Because that's like kind of the rebranding I'm going to have. So there's no rule book or any rules in choosing fragrance oil you can do whatever you want but I just thought I'd give you some tips in order to help you going about doing that and make it easy for you I love talking about fragrance oils if you don't know already but I'm going to end this video off here if I don't end this video I'm going to be talking about fragrance oils till next year <laughs> so thank you so much for watching hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions or concerns about fragrance oil please let me know down below and you can also dm me on instagram i'm going to be uploading every friday and tuesday the video will probably be going up on a friday so if you see that you can expect the next video on tuesday hopefully if you haven't already please follow me on instagram at iridescent candle co thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys